Many elderly people have been brought up in times when there was a great deal of trust and honesty in their community. Damn it all, I wonder who this is now. Yes, what is it? Hi there. No, I don't want any double glazing or catalogues today, <laughs> thank you. It's the house next door, I'm interested in it. The one that's for sale? Yeah, I've called several times, but they never seem to be in. You'll have a job to catch them at home. They're always working late. <laughs> All right. It's just a tree in the back garden. I think I might have to come down. Well, they did tell me some time ago that they had a conversation order on it. <laughs> a conservation order? That's right, that's what I said. That's why I want to check it out now, before I buy. Well, I, I've got a phone number that I can give you. Come in. Oh, that's very kind. <laughs> I left my diary in the kitchen. I won't be long. I'll get it now. That's kind. Very kind. Very kind indeed. Now, the number you want is... <laughs> my purse. My pension money. <laughs> Don't get caught like Madge. Many burglars look and sound nice and can be very charming, but they are looking for every opportunity to rob you. Keep your chain on and be careful about how much money you keep in the house. We now meet Mr Andrews, who has been away on holiday but before he went, he forgot to pay the milk money. Sorry about that, but you've got to be so careful these days, haven't you? How much do I owe you? 8 50 Right, just hang on a minute. I'll go and get my wallet. OK, OK. You're in luck today, Marion. I just collected four weeks' pension money after my holidays. Um, yeah. oh, Mr Jones, just a minute. You know old Mr Andrews, you know, your, your neighbour. Oh, he yeah, lives in yeah. 49. Yeah. Yeah just showed me four weeks pension money oh, no, and he got it in his wallet oh. and he's showing it around now i told him oh. put it somewhere safe give it to a relative in a bank yeah. but no it's silly that's very no, silly no. yeah so you yeah. want to be more careful yes, yes yeah well i tell you what i gotta go now i'll see you later what time okay. you call it five o'clock all right five o'clock will be lovely oh. okay all right well, i'll so, see you then all right bye, bye. Must be my lucky day. If you remember in the last war, there was a saying, careless talk costs lives. In this case, careless talk helps thieves. So don't keep too much cash in the house. Good morning, what? sir. We are from your community police action team. And we are to check the security measures on the doors and windows of your house. Oh, well, it's the first I've heard of it. Really? Right, well, if I could just explain. We'll come in, we'll check out the security measures on your doors and windows. I don't know, it's funny I've never heard of this scheme before. Are you doing it for everyone? My, my son's never mentioned it. Ah, oh, well, you see, sir, we, pensioners do have priority. But you're quite right to be cautious. I tell you what, give this number a ring and check us out. Shut the door while you're uh, checking on us. Good morning. County by the Crime Prevention Office. How may I help you? i got two of your staff here. Want to detect the locks on my doors and windows. Ah, yes, sir. That would be our community action team. So, so it is genuine, then? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Good morning. It seems to be a bit bored, so, so, so you better come in then. Oh, thank you, sir. It wouldn't take too long. Um, OK, John. Uh, John, if you want to check upstairs, um, oh, we'll just do down here, and we'll be about five minutes, and... Yeah? OK. Yeah, right. 
Oh, John, you finished upstairs, yes? Oh, that's excellent. Um, well, what we'll do now, sir, we'll write this up in about two or three days, and you should hear from us by about next Wednesday. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Thanks a lot. Later, he finds the wardrobe or the cupboard open, and his life savings gone. Strangers can come into your district posing in many disguises. Here are two tricksters approaching Brenda's door. Ah, yes. good morning. I'm from the council. We've got to remeasure all the houses built before 1950 so the council tax and bonds can be brought up to date. I'm sorry. Have you some identification? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I bet it I put my glasses. <laughs> Not a very good likeness. How long ago since you sat for this photograph? I'm, uh, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but it has to be done. It'll only take a couple of minutes. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, uh, uh, no thanks. Uh, I've got a lot more houses to do today. All right, that's, that's a great help, right? Thanks very much. Now, um... I know these houses very well. Okay, nice seeing you. Yes, thank you very much. Use your door chain. Thank you. Okay? Yes. Thanks very much. Bye bye. bye. Then. If Joan's done her job right, the old lady will never miss a thing until tomorrow. Poor beggar. Easy pickings. <laughs> We now come to our sketches, which are positive. Hello. I wonder if you could spare a few minutes of your time. I have some superb greetings cards to show you. Christmas cards and birthday cards. Help the homeless. I don't... Now, uh... cards of this quality usually sell from between £1.50 and £2.50 each. You were not listening to me. I am not you? sending any Christmas cards this year. I'm giving my money to a local charity, so there's no need for me to buy any cards. And anyway, I don't buy at the door. Well, what the Just look at the quality of this one. Thank you, but no thank cards. you. Goodbye. Maria is a bit forgetful. She lives alone. To help herself, she writes notes to remind herself what she has to do. I better see who it is. Well, I, I didn't think I was expecting anybody. No. Waterboard. I don't seem to recognise your face. Oh, that's all right. I've just come to check the new water supply. It'll only take about two minutes if you could just uh, let me in. From the waterboard, you say? Yeah, I've got a card. I've left it in the van. Oh, never mind. Just give me five minutes. Right, right. Hello? Water department? Oh, I hate all this checking up. And it seems so rude leaving that man standing on the doorstep. Hello? It's Mrs Besson from 109 High Street. Have you sent anyone to check the water pressure? No, you haven't. Right, thank you. No, I'd leave it for now. If I have any problem with it, I'll contact you. So you can go now. No, we might have to knock you off. I feel quite pleased with myself about that. It's not bad manners to say no. Maria did the right thing. Hello, son. 
Yes, uh, it's me. Um, look, I've just had some people around from the gas board. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't let them in, of course not, no. But they said they're coming back tomorrow. Yes, yes. Well, now, can you come around to be with me between one and three o'clock? You can? Oh, there's a good boy. Yes, that'll be fine. Yes, I won't be by myself then, will I? No, OK then. There's, I'll see you tomorrow then, love. Yes? Sorry to bother you, uh, but me and my mates from the council are working in the house just across the road there and we couldn't help noticing that you've got quite a few loose slates on your roof. Oh. And we thought, well, while we're here and we've got the ladders, we could put them right for you. There's no need to bother, I'll give Red your ring. He does all my repairs for me. That is very kind of you to tell me about it. I'm much obliged to you. But it'll only yes. take us two Again, minutes. Ta Damn. Hello? Good morning, madam. I'm from the local gas board and I'm carrying up a safety check in the area. You see, a gang of workmen digging a hole in the road just down the street have accidentally cut through a gas pipe. I need to check your gas supply. Oh, hey, what's the name of the street they work in? Then? The name, of the, the name of the street? Yes. It, it's, uh... i tell you what I'll do, right? I'll close the door for a minute, and then I'll turn the gas off at the main. And then I'll ring the emergency gas number, and I'll find out the name of that street for you. All right? See you in a minute, OK? But, but, but... <clears throat> Damn! Lady, if it be no trouble, do you think I could come inside and sit down for a minute? Oh, well, there's a garden seat around the side there. You'll be all right or not. Ta-ra, then. Damn! Hello? Ooh. Good morning, madam! Number 49, High Street, is this week's lucky winner of Washo. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'd like to come in and take a few things. Photographs of this week's lucky winner. If you just leave your business card, I can arrange for you to call at a more convenient time. Oh, never mind. It's a home security company. They're installing door chains. Just say no. Spy holes and burglar alarm. Don't do business on the phone. It is a proper company. Well, they said they got council back in. And please approval. Don't do business on the phone. Yeah, but I was thinking of having a burglar alarm installed one night. Just say no. Don't do business no. on the phone. Look, no, I'm sorry, but before you go any further, um, I'd like to tell you that I never buy at the door and I don't do business on the phone. Thank you. She did the right thing. The safest way to get home security is to contact your local crime prevention team. So remember, just say no, don't do business on the phone.